Hi friends, this is session 4. In this session we will see predefined profile. Predefined profile is available in profile toolbar. Rectangle, oriented rectangle, parallelogram, elongated hole, cylindrical elongated hole. Keyhole profile, polygon, centered rectangle, and centered parallelogram. First tool is, rectangle. It has two parameters, width, and height. Click on Rectangle tool, from Profile toolbar. Then click the first point. Tab button is used to, advance to width box. Next, specify the width value is, 100. Height value is, 75. Dimensional constraints are automatically created. Second method, to create a rectangle is, click the first corner point, and, click the other corner point. Now select, constraints tool. Select the line, and place the dimension. Now double click on the dimension, to edit the value. Next tool is, oriented rectangle. It has three parameters, width, angle, and height. Click on the oriented rectangle tool, from profile toolbar. Then click the first point. Now specify the width value is, 100. Angle value is 45 degree. Then specify the height value is, 75. Next tool is, parallelogram. It has four parameters. Width. Base angle. Height. Second side angle. Click on the parallelogram tool, from profile toolbar, then click the first point. Now specify the width value as, 100. Specify the angle, between parallelogram base and horizontal reference as, 45 degree. Then specify the height value as, 75. Finally specify second side angle as, 60 degree. Next tool is, elongated hole. It has three parameters. Line length. Angle. And radius. Click on the elongated hole, from profile toolbar. And click the first point. Now specify the line length as, 150. Specify the angle, between line and horizontal reference as, 90 degree. Then specify the whole radius as, 25. Next tool is, cylindrical elongated hole. It has four parameters, circle radius, starting angle, oriented angle, and hole radius. Click on the cylindrical elongated hole, from profile toolbar. Then click the center point. Now specify circle radius as 100 millimeters. Specify the starting angle as, 45 degree. Specify the oriented angle as, 90 degree. Then specify the whole radius as 15. Now specify constraints, for starting angle as 45 degree. Next tool is, keyhole profile. It has four parameters. Line length. Angle small radius and large radius 
Click on the Keyhole Profile tool, from Profile Toolbar. Then click the Start Point. Now specify line length as, 75. Specify angle as, 270 degree. Or, click on screen. Click the point for, small radius. Click the point for, large radius. Then, specify the radius value. Next tool is, Polygon. It has four parameters. Polygon types, in circle or circumcircle. Adius. Angle. And number of sides. Click on the Polygon tool, from Profile Toolbar. Then click the center point. Now select Polygon types. In circle means, reference circle is placed, inside of Polygon. Circum circle means, circle placed outside of polygon. To edit, polygon number of sides, disable this icon. Default side is, 6. Then specify radius value is, 50. And specify angle is, 90 degree. Finally specify number of sides of polygon is, 6. Next tool is, Centered Rectangle. It has two parameters. Width, and Height. Click on the Centered Rectangle tool, from Profile Toolbar. Then click the Center Point. Specify Height value is 75. Now specify Width value is 100. After editing this value, rectangle also placed in center. Next tool is, Centered Parallelogram. Creates a parallelogram, by defining a center point, at the intersection of, two existing lines. It has two parameters, height, and width. First we need, line reference, to create a centered parallelogram. Click on the axis tool. Draw reference lines. Then give angle dimension. Now click on the centered parallelogram tool, from profile toolbar. Next, select the both lines. Now specify the height value is 75. And specify the width value is 100. Next session will continue. Thank you.